No. Okay, so what we're going to demonstrate uh, is what happens when a COVID positive patient come to, comes into the lab. Lab D is going to be the COVID lab. So Emma uh, is going to take us through all the various steps. Off you go. So once we find out this, we'll come to lab D. The patient will have not entered the lab at this point. We as staff members will be getting our PPE equipment first, which will be located at the back of lab D in this box labeled COVID-19. Inside the box, you will have a yellow gown, a mask, gloves, our surgical hoods, and our visors. Um, the only thing that won't be in the box that you need to bring with you is some scrubs in your own size because you need them at the end of the procedure. Then once we're ready, we have all of our equipment that we need to bring with us in when we're about to in enter the lab. You need to remove all your personal equipment, i.e. lanyards, phones, wallets, whatever. We are going to have some form of a locked box here that once everyone's equipment that they don't need to bring in is in there, we can seal it so nothing hopefully will get stolen. Um, then the next step we need to do before we enter the lab is we will need to tuck our trousers into our socks, um, um, just pretend Gada has socks on, and then we leave our own personal shoes outside here, outside the door. We'll gather our belongings and we'll enter the lab. going to be some Wellington on, the, on this wall. The only sizes we have are size 6, 9 and 12. Okay, We have written on them so you shouldn't have to pick up or touch the Wellingtons at all. Now, to put on the wellies, your trousers, because they're tucked into your socks, should not bulk up. So you should be able to slip your foot into your Wellington without touching it, as Gada has just demonstrated. Then once your Wellingtons are off, on, I'm going to proceed over to where you'd scrub, if you'd like to follow me. Put your clean scrubs into this room here, which is just clean. Um, there is some size that's being kept in this room on this trolley, but just to ensure that you have the correct size scrubs, I'd advise you to bring them with you. Um, clean scrubs are in there, so that room will remain clean. Then out here, we will have lead and all of the equipment we need to wear to protect ourselves. This lead is going to be classed as a dirty lead. We will not be bringing any form of lead in with us. That includes thyroid shields. There will be thyroid shields, lead skirts, and tops provided in this lab. So the next step, once we come in and have positioned our equipment down, um, as operators, you will have to get a sterile gown and sterile gloves. For anyone who is not an operator, we'll just need to grab one of these gowns and open the pack for themselves. Now, the next step is you'll place on your lead, so lead skirt, lead top and thyroid shield. At this step then you'll wash your hands, which are just here. So next, once you wash your hands, you are going to be operating, touching all of your head equipment, um, which includes your uh, cap, your mask, and your visor. Um, on the visor, there is a little white veil um, that needs to be taken off. The packaging. This little white veil needs to come off. It comes off pretty simply. So you'll put on your surgical hood first, as Gala is demonstrating. Yep, yeah, that's the right way. Yep. Yeah. You'll cross the strings at the front and tie it at the back. You will next put on your mask. So Gala is a slightly different mask to a lot of us, but most of us have a filter on the bottom. The bottom elastic needs to go at the right, at the back, at uh, the bottom of your neck, like so. And then the top elastic needs to go as, top, as far on the top of your head as possible. That helps your mask not to slide down. At this point, you need to squeeze the mask around your mouth, make sure it does a nice tight seal. And then the last thing that you need to pop on your head is your visor. Now the visor is an elasticated um, fastening. 
just like so. Now, at this point, just before we proceed, adjust your headgears as comfortably as you think you need it during the procedure, because after this, you will not be able to touch your head at all. So the next step is, uh, we again, we'll wash our hands. Uh, the next thing will be our lovely yellow gowns. And now for everyone, we've decided that the yellow gown will be the first gown you put on, um, regardless of whether you're an operator or um, another member of staff in the lab. Um, the gown fastening and opening works on a body system, so you'll need something to tie your gown as well as open it at the end. So it's just a velcro at the top. And then there is two strings that we tie just here. that's the going on the next step is popping on these gloves now anyone who's not an operator will need two pairs of these um because you put two we're all double gloving if you're an operator you will only need one pair as you'll be putting your sterile gloves on the outside so if you want to pop them on This next step is only for the operator as they will need to scrub like they would normally only with the gloves and this yellow gown on. So that is like to scrub like you normally would. Dada uh, will put on her sterile gown and her sterile gloves like you would for any other procedure once you've got to scrubbing um, so I would, again, using the body system, I would tie up Dada's gowns. Uh, for any non-operators, it would just be the normal gloves that we've received out of the COVID-19 uh, box. You will not have to put on sterile gloves. Um, once all of our protective gear is on, um, including our headgear, boots, everything, and you've double gloved and have two aprons on, you can proceed into the lab. Yeah. At this stage, we are now assuming that we've finished the procedure, the patient has safely started to make their way to ITU or wherever they're ending up. At this point, every member of the team can then begin to take off their dirty equipment. Um, for anyone who's an operator, if there happens to be blood on your visor, you take that off first because obviously you don't want to touch that with anything that might be clean. So the visor will come off first, that will be placed in the bin. Then your sterile gloves will come off because they will have uh, blood on them from the procedure. Uh, chucked in the bin. And again, opening the gowns work on a body system, so I will do the gown with them. And then she will take that off, but then on the inside, we'll ball it up and place it into the bin keeping her gloves on as best she can. And then ball it up. That will get placed in here. Then again, working on the body system again, we will undo the back of the gown. And this is where you can take the gown and the last pair of gloves off completely because anything on your head should be clean and you should not have touched your face or anything on your head during the procedure. For anyone who's not an operator, you will still have your visor on, hopefully, unless you have been unfortunate to receive blood on your head. At this point now, we can take off our mask, but to do that, you will not touch the white bit, you will only touch the elastic, so bring the elastic forward, and then from the behind, take the elastic off again. Holding the elastic, dropping it into the bin and then you can take off your surgical foot. At this point you are relatively clean, you will proceed to the area that we've marked as the cleaner area of the lab. And before the procedure began, one of either the nurses, radiographer or physiologist will pop one of the chlorine tablets in each bin and it will be filled with water which will have fizzled out and this is now bleach 
So you will dunk one welly in here. You kind of move it around, just splash a bit of water onto the welly. It will go down on the inker pad, and then the second Wellington will go in here. The same thing will happen, and then you dry on the mat. Now from here, um, if you come forward a bit, um, you will do hold onto the side, heel to heel, pulling up. And then once you kind of feel like the wellies are loose, you gradually bring your leg out. And the same on the other side. You might have to do a little bit of a wiggle to get the second one off, but you are free from your Wellingtons. This is where you can remove your leg. Um, you can remove, if your trousers are still tucked into your socks, you can remove them from your socks. You will wash your hands. The clean room is just here. So uh, here you will go in and get changed. Once you're changed, uh, you will come out, obviously. So if you, so are you ready? Yeah. So your dirty scrubs will remain on the floor. You will kick them out with your feet. You will then wash your hands again, and then you will leave the lab. The last person that's in the lab, or this is gonna work basically on a volunteer system where the last person in the lab will gather all the scrubs, place them into a bin that will be here, and bag up the bin and as well will remove all the wellies once they've been dipped into the bleach to put them back along the wall as so. And then wash your hands again, so taking off your gloves, cleaning them, washing your hands again, and then you can leave the lab as well.